everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com and I uh, want to show you how we're going to tackle a little problem that we have with this beautiful 96 scale Russian November class submarine. The problem is the cylinder that we have for it is, uh, is too small. It was designed for a much smaller boat. Uh, in this particular case it was the Revell Type 7 U-boat kit. Now if we take a look at this, um, if we put this cylinder inside, um, we're losing a lot of potential room for ballast tank. And where it stands right now, this is only about a four inch tank. It's really not enough to get this to a proper surfaced water line. The November class Russian boats actually have quite a bit of reserve buoyancy and that water line gets all the way up to where that black line is. So. I am going to show you how we at the Dry Docks take a little baby cylinder and turn it into a monster. So uh, all I've done right now, we've removed the uh, brass conduit from the inside there. We've removed the safety float valve and that allowed us to use our chop saw and chop this perfectly square and flush. This we're not going to use. We're going to take all these bits and pieces out and we are going to save them and we're going to use this leftover bit of, uh, of spare polycarbonate tubing that we just happen to have on hand and we are going to connect it something like this and the cool part about this it's already drilled for the safety float valve and it's already drilled for the bulkhead at the back there and that'll turn that little baby four inch tank into a gigantic 12 inch tank and that will be absolutely perfect for November. So as I was finishing this video, I noticed that we kind of skipped ahead and uh, didn't really go into the details of uh, when we were installing the bulkheads and gluing it. So I just want to make some verbal comments here before we get any further. Really two things uh, that are complicated in the joining of this uh, additional ballast section length. Uh, the first one is the actual physical joint uh, between the two. Now, as I mentioned before, it's imperative that you'd have a perfectly uh, flush cut that's perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of that tube. And we used a, a chop saw, the, the shop chop saw to cut that through. Make sure that you go slowly because, uh, of course, these clear plastic cylinders like to crack if you abuse them. Um, once that's done, we rough that up with some sandpaper and then just actually used CA to adhere them together, ensuring that they were perfectly flush along the outside edges. All that done, um, I just used a file to file down the joint to make sure there was no big gobs of glue sticking out, and, and then wrapped it with some electrical tape in order to preserve uh, at least a shred of cosmetic decency for the poor cylinder. The other part, which is probably the trickiest part, is the installation of that forward ballast bulkhead. Now, uh, if you are extending an existing cylinder, you'll have that bulkhead. You'll just have to remove it from the previous one, uh, which is a simple process. Basically, you just uh, undo the screws and push it out. Not a problem. Reinstallation, however, uh, is a little bit more problematic. You need to make sure that the conduit opening for that brass conduit that keeps your power and servo cables through lines up with the other side. So don't install that bulkhead, you know, 90 degrees uh, out or 180 degrees out of where it needs to be. Now, I find the best way to install that bulkhead is to smear some silicone oil on the inside of that tube and then use a piece of, uh, of tubing or doweling of a narrower diameter than the inside of that tube and you push that uh, bulkhead down. Now it's got an O-ring and it's riding on the inside face, the inside diameter of that plastic tubing. Now if you're careful, you can actually twist that tube and it will slowly, as you push it, twist into position. Um, the easiest way that I find to do this, if you don't have, like I did, uh, pre-drilled holes, um, push it down into position and then you can actually drill those holes from the outside. You do your pilot hole and then you do your um, your, your tapered hole for the uh, flat headed screws to fit flush. Uh, and make sure, by the way, that you use a little dab of silicone under the heads of those screws so that you don't end up with any leaks. So, intermission is over. 
uh, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let's go on to see how this thing turned out. All right, we're all done. Uh, Jason and I knocked this out. It probably took us, what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes, maybe. Something like that. So you can see the, the joint right here. We um, used CA to, to bind this together, and that works because it was a perfectly flush cut that we sanded. Um, and then we, uh, of course, sealed just for cosmetics with the, uh, the tape there. And all of the extra holes are sealed, um, and this is all basically ready to go. Big thing is now that we got a longer tank, we've got drainage at both ends of the tank so that there's, uh, the water has a chance to get out everywhere. The safety float valve is reinstalled in those existing holes. And uh, now we have a little bit of an extended battery compartment here as well. So it'll be easy to put a uh, remote on-off switch as well as the battery. So what we're gonna do uh, before we ship this out to the new customer, we're gonna go to the test tank. We're gonna dunk it and make sure there's no leaks. All right, so at the test tank, Gracie is ready to supervise. Are you ready? You better watch. Watch real close. Look for bubbles. All right, I don't see any bubbles. I don't see any leaks. You pull that up out and then just drop it with the tank, ballast tank full. No, like the full of air, sorry. There we go. All right, our, our extension looks like it worked. Good shape, now I'll go drop it in the boat, see what it looks like. And here we are, this is the finished uh, product. More or less, this is where it'll sit. Actually, I think we could probably push it back a little bit. Um, but we got lots of room in the bow there to uh, put the boat on. Everything fits. Lots of room up in the sail for the snorkel. Lots of room in the back to connect our linkages and a nice beefy ballast tank to get it all up out of the water. So, mission accomplished. Extension complete.